There is absolutely no tether, no safety cable, absolutely no parachute. The pilots will be at an altitude of approximately 400 feet above the ground when they make their pass. Look on the top, you can see waving at you, Todd Green. Saw the award-winning stuntman Eddie the Grip Green from up in the Michigan area near Ipswich and Ann Arbor, Michigan. John Moore, the control for the Super Spearman and Roger Bias, running tail end Charlie in auto the helicopter. Understand that there's some significant aerodynamic issues. The downwash from that rover is going to cause severe turbulence in the airplane. And watch them as they line up for their first pass. Go ahead, Colleen. Yeah, Todd is truly on tie. No parachute, no safety wire, on tie. That's why they call this the untied team. Keep your eyes to the left. They'll be coming through at about 60 miles per hour, between 50 and 60 miles per hour across the ground. John Moore will set up for his approach. And as he gets closer and closer to us, Roger Bias is working his way down. He's just off to the side and almost equal in position to the aircraft. As he moves in over, he's going to move over the top. Todd Green is going to attempt to reach up and grab that helicopter skin and see if he can get it. The turbulence, you can see some wobble there. They've got some turbulence going. And you've got to remember also that the wing of the Sierra biplane is wood and fabric. We don't want to get that skin stuck into the fabric. They are so close. Look at that. Oh, almost got it. Roger worked in the collective in his left hand to lower himself ever so gently right next to the aircraft. Todd Green reaching there, holding on to the top of the chair. 60 miles an hour wind in his face. Oh, he's trying it again. I tell you what, I don't know if we're going to be able to work this or not. This is going to be tough. Let's see if we can break off. Let's see if we go live to the cockpit and say a quick hello to John Moore, see how he's doing. Hey, John, this is Rob Ryder. Can you hear me? that he may have actually poked a hole in that fabric. There are thousands of pieces of wood in each of the wings of that Stearman biplane, put together by hand. They cost $11,000 when they first started building the Stearmans. If you put that together now, it's well over $200,000 to buy one. And fixing it is not easy either, but here they come from the right once again. Stuntman Todd Green Here's the reaching up to try to green. grab the left skid of Roger Bias's helicopter. Coming through 60 miles per hour, 400 feet, less than 400 feet above the ground. You can see how difficult it is. There is rotor wash forcing the tail of John Moore's steering down. Hurricane for the wind. Standing there on top of the biplane. Right on top green. Reaching for that From skid that there. Road. Plus 60 miles an hour. He goes, he touches it. Let's see if they can move it one more time. Top green down there. You can see him on the upper wing of the biplane. Oh, not there. Let's see. Oh, they're going to break off. Let's go back up live to the cockpit and see if we can talk to John Moore once again to see how it went. Hello, John. Do you copy? How'd it go? That it looks like you almost had it. Like they're going to try and find a way to see if they can't take the train. 
right here. Uh, I'm going 80 miles an hour. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, he's just put a speed on your RSC to cut off after going. Yeah, that might work. What are you doing? Video. Video? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's lying for it. Uh, me. Uh, uh, me. Uh, 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 uh,